Hi everyone. In this video, we'll go through introduction to integral calculus. Learn what is integration, what are standard integrals, and how do we solve problems using standard integrals. The following problems are solved in this particular video. Integral calculus. Integration is nothing but an inverse process of differentiation. For example, derivative that is d by dx of x square. So x square is a function. Say it's f of x. So derivative of x square is 2x. Integration is a process by which I give the derivative. That is I give 2x and I should get x square as the answer. So this reverse process is integration. It's also called as antiderivative. In differentiation, you give a function and you get derivative. In integration, I give a derivative. So 2x is a derivative and I get the function back. So that's why it is called as inverse process of differentiation. So integral calculus has two parts, indefinite and definite. Definite integral is used to find the area bound by a graph of a function. So if you have a graph like this and you have these points and if you have to find the area, right, this is where definite integrals is used. And indefinite integrals is nothing but a method to find out the antiderivative or the function, the original function. So these are the standard integrals. Integral of x to the power n is nothing but x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1. If you remember, derivative for this would be, derivative of x to the power of n would be n into x to the power n minus 1. Similarly, integral of dx, just dx, that means there is no number, assume that there is 1, right? Integral of 1 would be, that is, there is nothing, no variable, right? That time, integral would be x. Integral of 1 would be x. When there is nothing, you assume that there is 1 and you put integral as x. And we will all, always have to put this constant. Constant, the c is any constant, any number. We don't know what that number is. So, we just put an arbitrary constant, calling it as c. Similarly, integral of 1 by x is log x. Now, if you see derivative of log x, derivative of log x is 1 by x. Similarly, integral of 1 by x is log x. And integral of e to the power x is e to the power x itself. Similarly, derivative of e to the power x is also e to the power x itself. And this is the integral for e to the power x, a to the power x by log a. Integral of sin x is minus cos x. So if you remember, derivative of cos x was minus sin x. Here, integral of cos x is sin x. If you remember, derivative of sin x is cos x. Now, integral of cos x is sin x, right? So you should get the function back. Similarly, integral of secant square x is tan x. Derivative of tan x is secant square x. Integral of cos x square x is minus cot x. And derivative of cot x is cos x square x. Integral of secant x into tan x is secant x. And derivative of secant x is this function. So in this way, we will have to remember all the integrals. These are some of the standard integrals for inverse trigonometric uh, functions. Integral of 1 by root of 1 minus x square is sin inverse x. Similarly, cos inverse x, tan inverse x, cot inverse x, secant inverse x and cosec inverse x. So, these are integrals for inverse trigonometric functions. Let's go through a few key properties of integrals. Simple, they are nothing but derivative of integral of a function is nothing but function itself. So, basically, if I take say 2x, right, what is integral of 2x? You will have to use the formula. What is integral of x to the power n? It is x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1. Right? And plus constant. So, integral of 2x would be, integral of 2x will be 2 into x to the power of, there is nothing here, so assume it is 1. So, 1 plus 1, which is 2 by 1 plus 1. So, it is nothing but 2x square by 2. So, 2 and 2 will get cancelled. You are left with x square. Right? You are left with x square. And then, then this one. What is derivative of x square? Derivative of x square is 2x. So, it is obvious, right? Integral is inverse of the derivative. So, now when I apply both, I get the function. The next property is, if I have two functions, it could be addition of two functions or subtraction of two functions. I can find integral separately integral of this function and integral of this function and I can add them together. 
or subtract them together. So here's an example. X square integral of x square dx plus x cube dx can be written as you can separate them out. This one and this one. Integral of x square and integ integral of x cube. Similarly with subtraction. This is the third property. If I have a constant with the function, I can put the constant outside. Constant is this k. I am just calling this k as constant. k is nothing but any constant. So, I can put the constant outside and find the integral of the function. For example, if you have 2 here, 2 x cube, 2 is a number, constant is any number. So, I can put this 2 outside and then find the integral of x cube. Similarly here, here I have 2 and I have 5. So, I can find separate integrals for this, for this and put 2 outside for this, 5 outside for this. So, now when I find integral, x cube would be x to the power 4 by 4 using the formula x to the power n integral of x to the power n is x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1. Just increment the power. That's all. Increment the power and whatever power you get, put the same thing in the denominator. Here also, you have power as 2. Increment the power so it will become 3 and put the same power as denominator. Now let's solve some problems, right, using these standard integrals. So let's take this problem. So, what we will have to do, we will have to separately find integrals for each of this. So, I can write this as x to the power e plus integral of e to the power x minus integral of log a. Now, so what is integral of x to the power e? Integral of x to the power e is something like x to the power n. Instead of n, you have e. So, what is it? x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1. So, here instead of n, I have e. So, it will be x to the power e plus 1 by e plus 1. Plus, integral of e to the power x is the same thing. And what is integral of log a? Log a is a number. Right? Because a is a number. a is a number. Any number. Generically, a is being put here. It could be any number. And when I take logarithm of that number, it is going to be a number. So, now I can put this number outside. Right? Every time you can put the constant or number outside and then integrate. Now, there is nothing here. Right? So, you assume that it is 1. And what is integral of 1? Integral of 1 is x. So, it is going to be log a into x. Plus, we will have to put c here which indicates arbitrary constant, any constant. This is the answer. Let us take another problem. 9 cos x by 5 sin square x. So, what I will have to do is, I will have to put the constant outside. 9 by 5, let me put it outside. I will integrate cos x by 5 into sin square x. What I can do is, I need to split this to make it easier, right? So, cos x, I have to split this into sin x. There are two sin x's here. And I can write it like this. Sin square x, right? Now, integral of this would be, what is cos x by sin x? It is cot x. And what is 1 by sin x? It is cosec x. Right? Now, what is integral of this? Integral of this is nothing but minus cosec x. You will have to remember the standard integral formula. Integral of this is minus cosec x. So, it is going to be minus 9 by 5 cosec x and then put a c. Here is another example. So, here 7x square, simple, put 7 outside. Find integral of x square dx. Then put 4 outside, integral of secant square x dx. They have not put integral and dx here, but you assume that you have to put dx here and put integral symbol. Now, when I integrate this, I will get 7. Integral of x square is, remember, increment the power by 1 and copy the same, copy this power to the denominator. Then, minus 4. Integral of secant square is tan x. This will have to mug up. Integral of secant square is tan x and then we will have to put constant. So, best way is what is derivative of tan x? Derivative of tan x is secant square x. So, integral of secant square x will be tan x. That is another way to remember. If, you, if, if we get confused and we do not remember the integral, then see the derivative. In derivative, which gives secant square x? So, here is another problem. 7 to the power x minus 10 into 9 to the power x. So, this is of the form a to the power x. And what is integral of a to the power x? It is a to the power x by log a. 
so we have integral of 7 to the power x which will be 7 to the power x by log 7 similarly this is also same a to the power x form so i'll put 10 outside and then i have 9 to the power x by log 9 and then finally put the constant now let's take this problem so how do we solve this we'll have to split we'll have to split each of this we'll have to write this as x to the power 5 by root x plus 5x square by root x minus 7x by root x entire thing dx instead of root x we'll have to write x to the power half remember this instead of root x is x to the power half so now i'll have to individually find the integral so this will be x to the power 5 by x to the power half plus 5x square by x to the power half minus 7x x to the power half now i can take this half on top right if i take half on top it's going to be here it's plus so it will become minus so it will become x to the power 5 minus half plus 5 into x to the power 2 minus half minus 7 into x to the power nothing is there assume 1 1 minus half now what do i get 5 minus half is 4 and a half which is 9 by 2 plus 3 by 2 and here I get 7x and 1 minus half is half. This is the form x to the power n. So I will have to just in increment the power and put it in the denominator. x to the power of 9 by 2 plus 1 by 9 by 2 plus 1 in the denominator. Similarly here 5 into 3 by 2 plus 1. 3 by 2 plus 1 is 5 by 2. Let me put directly 5 by 2 minus 7 into half plus 1 is 1 and half which is 3 by 2 so I'll put 3 by 2 here it's going to be 11 by 2 so this is going to be 11 by 2 11 by 2 and let's not forget to put c here so this is going to be 2x I'll take everything on top so it's going 2x by 11 to the power 11 by 2 plus 2 5 is 10 by 5 into x to the power 5 by 2 minus 14 by 3 into x to the power 3 by 2 plus c. Here I can further cancel this. So I'll get 2x to the power half plus 2x to the power 5 by 2 minus 14 by 3 into x to the power 3 by 2 plus c. This is the answer. Now let's take this particular problem. Here we'll have to expand this. This entire function will expand. Remember the formula a minus b the whole cube a minus b the whole cube is a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square now using this formula you expand this and then individually find the integrals remember one thing here you get 1 by x so integral of 1 by x is log x so here again expand this entire thing then find the integral for each of this now here in this problem you'll have to use this is of the form a to the power x right this is of the form a to the power x before we find the integral we'll have to split it 6 to the power x by 5x 3 to the power x by 5x then what you do you will have to take common that is 6 by 5 both have the same power so you can take the power outside like this and then you can use that formula a to the power x you can assume that this entire thing is a so it will be like a to the power x then use this formula a to the power x by log a integral of this is a to the power x by log a so instead of a we have 6 by 5 6 by 5 to the power x by log a a is 6 by 5 here similarly here also so this is the answer for this so let's solve this problem find integral separately integral of this and integral of this for this you'll have to use one important formula a to the power log x to the base a is equal to a x to the power a so you will have to remember this formula a to the power a log x is equal to x to the power a so here we have 3 to the power 3 log x base is 3 so you will have to put x will have to put here and what is a a is nothing but 3 similarly 7 7 log x and base is 7 so we will have to write x to the power 7 so we will have to remember this formula and then we can integrate so this will be x cube minus integral of x to the power 7 this will be 
x to the power 4 by 4 minus x to the power 8 by 8 plus c. This is the answer. Now let's look at this particular problem. Root of 1 minus cos 2x. We'll have to use trigonometric formulas for all trigonometric uh, based uh, integrations, right? What is cos 2x? Cos 2x, you can write it as 1 minus 2 sin square x, right? You have three formulas for cos 2x. One is 1 minus 2 sin square x. Second one is 2 cos square x minus 1. Other one is cos square x minus sin square x. So we can use one of these formulas. Now which one to use? Simple, right? So now often the confusion is which one of these to be used. So what you can do is use the one in such a way that this one will get cancelled. This one should get cancelled. So if I use 1 minus 2 sin square x, what will happen is 1 and 1 will get cancelled. So I will use this. But if I use this, what is going to happen is 1 and 1 will not get cancelled. In fact, it will become 2, complicating it further. So now we have root of 2 sin square x because 1 and 1 will get cancelled. So we can put 2 outside, root 2 outside and write it as sin square x. This square root and square will get cancelled. So you will be left with root 2 sin x. Now root 2 can be put out and integral of sin x. What is integral of sin x? minus cos x. This is what is the answer. Now, another one. 1 plus sin x by cos square x. Split it. Whenever you have multiple terms in the numerator and you have denominator, split it. Right? 1 by cos square x plus sin x by cos square x. You can write 1 by cos square as secant square and this one as tan x into secant x. You can write this as sin x by cos x into 1 by cos x. You can write this as sin x by cos x into 1 by cos x sin x by cos x tan x, 1 by cos x secant x. Now, what is integral of secant square x? Tan x. And what is integral of tan x into secant, secant x? Secant x. That's it. This one also is similar one. Expand this. You get it like this. Integral of this, integral of this. And then we have the final answer. Now here, such kind of problems. What do we do? You have the whole square. You will have to expand it. You will have to expand this. Right? like this and then split it, split it individually. When you have multiple terms in the numerator, you will have to split it. Once you split it, try to take common things outside, right? Take common things outside. Here what is happening is 2x, when I take x on top, bases are same. So a to the power 2x, a to the power 2x by a to the power x can be written as a to the power 2x. I can take x on top, so it will become minus x. Here it's plus x, it will become minus x and I will be left with b to the power x. So this will be a to the power x by b to the power x. Right, like this. And then I can take x as common power, x as common power, like this. And I can assume that this entire thing is of the form, this is of the form now, a to the power x, integral of a to the power x is nothing but a to the power x by log a. So that's what we have done here. Assume that this entire thing is a to the power x by log of a. Right? And here, integral of 2 dx. You can take 2 outside. Right? 2 is outside. You can assume it's like this. 2 outside. And integral of dx. Like I told earlier, if there is nothing, you assume that there is 1. And integral of 1 is x. So, it will be 2 into x plus c. Now, this is another one. Now here we will have to remember few formulas. It is difficult to find integral if we do not remember the formulas. We can write cos x square x minus 1 as. So we will have to write cos x square x minus 1 is nothing but cot square x. Similarly, secant square x minus 1 is tan square x. We will have to remember these two important formulas. Cos x square x minus 1 is cot square x. So instead of this, we will write cot square x. Now the square and the root will get cancelled. You will be left with this. What is integral of this? It is minus cosec x. Integral of this is minus cosec x. Now, here is another one. 1 plus sin 2x. What do we do here? We cannot split. We cannot, uh, you know, find integral of this. We can't split this. We can't split this. We can't find the integral. And uh, this root is there. How do we eliminate? So, that is why we will have to use some trigonometric formulas. Now, sin 2x. Sin 2x is nothing but 2 sin a cos a, right? Sin 2a is 2 sin a into cos a. And what is 1? Instead of 1, I can write it as sin square a 
plus cos square a is 1. Now I use both these formulas here. Right? When I use both these formulas, this entire thing is of the form a plus b the whole square. a plus b the whole square is a square plus b square plus 2 into a into b. So instead of a, I have sin x. Instead of b, I have cos x. So sin x plus cos x the whole square will be sin square x plus cos square x plus 2 into sin x into cos x. So this entire thing can be written as sin x plus cos x the whole square. Square and square will get cancelled. Then I can find the integral of this separately. Integral of sin x is minus cos x. Integral of cos x is sin x. Here also similar. Here what we can do we have cos 2x. Now like we know cos 2x has two formulas. Right. It is 1 minus 2 sin square x and it is 2 cos square x minus 1. There are three formulas. So let's stick on to these two formulas. Now which one of these to use? Use the one in which you can get this one cancelled. You should be able to cancel this one. So if I use 1 minus 2 sin square x, here 1 and 1 will get cancelled. So that's why I have used 1 minus 2 sin square x. Similarly here you have plus 1 plus. So now here you can use this formula. Right. I have plus 1. So I need minus 1. So I'll use this formula. 2 cos square x minus 1. So 1 and 1 will get cancelled. 2 and 2 will get cancelled. So I'll be left with tan square x. What is integral of tan square x? We don't know. There is, we don't know. This is not a standard integral. We don't know the integral of tan square x. So what we'll do? We'll use that important formula, right? Tan square x is secant square x secant square x minus 1. Secant square x minus 1. We know the integral of secant square x which is tan x and integral of 1 is x. Now let's take this particular problem. How do we solve this? Secant x by 1 plus secant x. Here we can't split because you have two terms in the denominator. We can't split. So what we can do? Rationalize. We can rationalize the denominator. How do we do that? We will have to do it like this. Multiply and divide. Multiply and divide by 1 minus secant x by 1 minus secant x. Take the opposite sign. Right? And multiply and divide. So now what you will get? You will get secant x. I will multiply minus secant square x by now this is of the form a plus b and a minus b. This can be written as a square minus b square. Instead of a I have 1. Instead of b I have secant x. Right? So I can write this as 1 square minus secant square x. So what is secant square x? So here we will have to remember that important formula. Tan square x is secant square x minus 1. Which is nothing but secant square x is equal to tan square x plus 1. Now instead of secant square x I will substitute. So I will get secant x minus secant square x by 1 minus instead of secant square x I will put tan square x plus 1. This is nothing but 1 minus tan square x minus 1. 1 and 1 will get cancelled. I will be left with minus tan square x. Now I can split it. Now I can split this. So I can write this as I can write it like this. So minus now I will split it secant x by tan square x plus secant square x by tan square x. So now what I will do? I will simplify this. I will write this as secant x is 1 by cos x and tan square x is sin x by cos x. Right? So basically it will be like this. Sin x by cos x. There is square here. So square plus again here the same thing. You have cos square x. You can write secant square x is 1 by cos square and tan square is sin square x by cos square x. Now, this double denominator here, right? So, I will shift this on top. When I shift it on top, it will become reciprocal. So, it will be 1 minus minus 1 by cos x into cos square x by sin square x. Similarly here, 1 by cos square x into cos square x by sin square x. So it has become reciprocal. Now one of this and one of this will get cancelled. So I will be left with minus cos x by 
sin x and one more sin x. Here, both of these will get cancelled, so I will be left with 1 by sin square x, which is cosec square x. Right? Now, I will find the integral. Uh, I can further write this as cot x into cosec x plus cosec square x. What is integral of cot x and cosec x? It is minus cosec. Minus cosec x. This is already minus here. Plus integral of cosec square is equal to minus cot x plus c. Now what is this? Cosec x minus cot x plus c. So this is the answer. Now this is a, another one. Cos x by 1 plus cos x. You can rationalize, multiply and divide by the denominator. Rationalize the denominator. So you multiply and divide by 1 minus cos x and 1 minus cos x. Right? You have plus here. You take the reverse sign. You take the minus sign and multiply and divide. So I will get 1 minus cos square x here. Right? This is of the form a plus b and a minus b. So, which is nothing but a square minus b square. 1 square minus cos square x. So, I can write 1 as cos square x plus sin square x. So, cos square x and cos square will get cancelled. Left with sin square x. Now, I will split it. I will split it. Right? Cos x by sin square x. Cos square x by sin square x. So, I will get cot x into cosec x minus cot square x. Now, integral of cot x into cosec x is minus cosec x. And uh, what do I do with in cot square x? I don't have the integral for cot square. But cot square I can write as cosec, cosec square x minus 1. Cot square is cosec square x minus 1. So, and then integral of cosec square is cot. Right? And finally I get this. So, here is another one. So, again rationalize the denominator. Then you will get like this. 1 minus cos square. 1 minus cos square is nothing but sin square. 1, 1 minus cos square is sin square x. This will get cancelled. Sin square and sin square. You are left with 1 minus cos x. Simple. Integral of 1 is x. Integral of cos x is sin x. So, with this we have come to the end of this particular topic. If you like this video, do press a like and share it. Thank you.